Googly moogly, look at all the turtles. Turtle gang. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. I'm Big B. Got the recoil two out here at the park pond. We're gonna do some big pond ovals. Uh, gonna be actually testing out this uh, 42 or H42, 42 high rate from Offshore Electrics. It's a, a pre-balanced high rake high performance prop okay i'll have a link in the description uh last video we ran a three blade 42 16 from oxteen we got 65 uh today we're going to be testing the speed on this guy right here i'm running a 150 ose raider uh, a leopard hobby 36 60 31 80 kv if i'm not mistaken uh, upgraded turn fins, trim tabs, and SMC 6200 DV string. Let's go. Let's freaking go. We're going to knock this 61 off. We got 61 with the ugly duckling there. <laughs> Start. All right, all right. Reading, tracking, or whatever you want to call it. I've got a lot of wind today, and I'm not really going to be able to push it like I want to. You know, the wind's going, you can see the fountain, it's going that way, and this is the way I run. Oh, probably, I probably should do some reverse ovals. I think I am. Well, I don't know. Let's just do it like we normally do it. Feels weird. Feels weird to uh, go back backwards. And we got some fishermen. Of course we do. Opened up on that back stretch. Okay, okay, so it's a warm prop. It's a warm prop. So let's go check the temps because I had a thermal reduction. Okay. Um, that's kind of weird. That's kind of weird actually because that uh, 42 16 three blade, you would think, would pull a little more amps and get things a little hotter than a two blade. But, but, never can tell. Never can tell. So that's the 42. 16 from offshore electrics actually ran pretty good 61 which is not bad it's not really an oval prop and i probably need to tune this prop in for this boat uh it don't have any lift compared to the 42 16 three blade so i need to tune my boat for that need to get it up out the water so 137 103 everything actually seems pretty good yeah it lost some of its uh get up and go like it, i guess it went to a thermal thermal protection so And I only have single coolant on this boat. I hadn't really felt the need to put dual coolant on it. So, uh, I'm actually going to I'm going to go up a little bit on my on my stinger, my strut, okay? A little bit of positive angle. And uh, that should get the bow up a little bit because it's not this prop don't lift, don't have a whole lot of lift. Oh, that's a big turtle right there. Oh, I just ran him over. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
that might do it. Got you guys zoomed in a little bit. All right, come around this corner hot. Now she's going to chime walk a little bit. So we need to tune this prop in. And I just don't have the time. It's a good running prop. Just gotta find the boat to run it on. You know? I was hoping maybe the 40, that 40 millimeter 16 probably be good on this one. Yeah, let's bring her in. Let's bring her in. Let's bring her in. She's a little warm, and I'm wondering if I can sharpen it some, you know, and uh, that might that might actually cut the water a little better, not quite as loady, you know, maybe even reduce some of the blade area. If I wanted to run it on this boat, uh, I'd probably get a 4016 for this one from off Offshore Electric. My boss prop on here, you know, 4016. We'll see. We'll see. We'll get it. We'll get one. Oh man, we got some smoke. Yeah, that's a hot prop, boys. It's a hot prop. So let me check this battery. It might be done. It is done. So I was gonna throw another prop on. Oh, I didn't even clear it out. Oh man, dang, I'm terrible for that. I always forget. So it's kind of a hot prop on this boat, you guys. So if you're uh, looking for a good prop for the recoil, I would say the 4016 may be a little better for you from OSE, especially with the stock electronics. So 149 on the motor, 118. ESC seems pretty good, that Raider. All right, pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of guys say they're having problems with this speed control. I've actually had one go out uh, because I had gotten the, the propeller wrapped up in a, in a rope when I was taking off. It sucked up a rope and it just popped my ESC. But um, I've, had a, I've had these speed controls in a lot of boats, man. I got them in this, the 90s in that boat. And uh, I've always had pretty good success with them. But I, I don't like... Well, I do push my boats, you know, I do push them. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Just wanted to do the OSC prop test. We'll continue that testing uh, in future videos on other boats. All right, thanks for watching.